water here, guys. We are on our shores of Lake Victoria. So this water bus is leading us to to Margate Island. So I'm just going to try and find out what the prize is. And uh, today we are not going to Margate. Margate is one of the islands in the Lake Victoria. There's Migingo Island, there's Margate Island, there's Rusinga, and uh, and, uh, <laughs> and another one, I think. Yeah. So here, here's where they land the fish. These are the boats they use for fishing. Uh, these are water bus. Bus ni pesa dibuana. Ah, wow, wow, give the camera. So this is the water bus, and uh, the, those are the fish nets. <laughs> Okay. So they say it's uh, 150 shillings and it's like 30 minutes ride to that side and then it come back around 2 p.m. So right now it's like uh, 10 a.m. So if you go over there, you stay in the island for maybe several hours, then you can come back with it. Yeah. So today we are not going to do that, but we'll do it next time. So here you see the water has actually reached the... The level has risen a little bit, so it has reached this warehouse. It looks like a fish warehouse has been covered by water. Uh, yeah, it looks been covered by water. But uh, so probably that was a bad idea to build it so close to the shore. Uh, they should have built it a little bit further out in the shore. Uh, all right so let me go inside and i'll come out and continue yeah mm -hmm. so guys uh welcome back to my channel the traveling lion if you're not subscribed please subscribe to my channel the traveling now behind me there is the water bus that goes up to Mageta island here on the shores of lake victoria in western kenya uh in bondo actually this place is bondo is usenge usenge beach in bondo so I will not take the boat today and I will take it in a few days and I'll give you another video showing uh showing uh showing the showing the trip and uh part of the island. Take no more though. You take for Oh LP Balare, eh? So I'm just asking the water that is drained from there. They use it for cooking. Yeah, it's fresh lake water. They use it for cooking and stuff like that. Hey, Dagoche, this guy built too close to the, that guy built too close to the beach. Yeah. So now it's been captured. That's the water hyacinth. It's a very, it's a common water weed. Yeah. So here is where two countries meet, Uganda and Kenya meet over here. On <laughs> the trade. Bananas being sold. Mandizi pesa ngapi moja? Oh, I Oh, Easy bana, sebo. This one I was aje. Come here. You don't get kukula, eh? Pale. I'm a fucker dog. Pale. Pale. Customer, customer want banana. <laughs> customer want banana. How much is, do you sell banana, sebo? This sweet banana to eat. One. one You're from Tororo. Ginger. No, I'm capturing my, my, my video, my YouTube video. Okay, give me banana. Moja <laughs> ten. <laughs> you know YouTube, Sebo. There you speak English. The white man language in Uganda. Which is <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you don't want to speak your language. What is what you say? Burundi, Wagaraji. Where to put your pasangapi? Fifty. Eh. Letter card. This is to another. This is another relative zuko. So we are buying here bananas for around uh, 50 bob. Uh, these bananas are from Uganda. Uganda is a very fertile place and therefore you get the bananas from there. So also you find... Hey, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Zikona Nini, Propeller. Yeah, propeller. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So here, trade or how happens? Stuff come from the mainland over there. They go to the boat. They go to the island. So this the this side is Kenya. The other side is Uganda is on the other side. Somewhere on the other side there. But we are all East Africa people. <laughs> Why you get banana from water? From <laughs> from big big. big. There's no bag. You don't have a bag to put it in. You don't have any bags? We just eat it. Eh? We don't have bags. Fine, fine. We'll just eat here. <laughs> sweetie, sweetie banana. Somebody sang that song. <laughs> There's a friend of mine who used to say Katogo all the time. So what is Katogo? Beans and bananas. Yeah. And cassava. And muogo and beans. Now you make me chukwa kama uji. It's like a soup. It's like nyoyo. Oh. Okay. So we throw this one in the water. Fish will eat that one. Hmm? That is food for fish. Here we are feasting on bananas right now. Where's the other banana? Are they finished? Yeah, they are. Those ones. Yeah, this, this should be our lunch. Yes. Yeah. We are going to squeeze it. 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 is heading towards the boat to the island. One more sweet banana, it's finished. <laughs> That's our trend, eh? Asante sana sebo na nyabo. So they say Sebo is a man, he's like a dude. Nyabo is like a chick, Chile. Chica. 
in uh, Kiganda. So that's what I was just making fun uh, with our fellow colleagues over here. So now we're heading back to the beach to take our motorcycle and then we're heading towards uh we're heading towards Ramogi Forest. Uh, so we'll bring you the history as we as we hit Ramogi Forest. Uh, I just have to cross this patch of water, that patch of water over there. And uh, we'll take our motorcycle. Here's a lot of business going on. And then we'll, we'll head back back towards Ramogi Forest. So I'll catch up with you guys later. Subscribe to the channel, like and share. I love you guys to the beach and back. So that's where we came from. That's where the, there's a fish warehouse over there. And then there's the boats over there. It's like a landing, uh, landing, landing place, like a pier. Uh, a lot of uh, fish boats, business taking place, exchange of goods. Of course, there's some shops around here. So there's a vibrant life on the shores of Lake Victoria here in Imbo Usenge, in Usenge Beach. This place is in Bondo. It's called Imbo, and this beach particularly is called Usenge Beach. So this brings you the sights and sounds of Usenge Beach, vibrant life in Usenge Beach. Now we are heading, we're done with Usenge Beach, we're heading towards the forest. So we'll see if we can get something to eat over here and then we head towards the Ramogi Forest. Yeah, and then I'll tell you the story about Ramogi Forest once we reach over there. Uh, it's got a big rich history and uh, you guys are going to enjoy. Watch this video till the end. Uh, don't uh, watch all the way till the end. That's the only way you can support me. I love you guys. Cheers. Continue watching. So we are from Usenge that way. I mean, you can see the Usenge from the beach. Usenge beach. And uh, you can see the lake somewhere down there. Uh, after this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this swampy area over here. Beyond there is where the lake Yeah, so there are a lot of bricks here. We also used to make mats. Yeah, this area, this house has been submerged by water. Yeah? So here they're constructing the highway. My dad, my beautiful. Oh, boy, bridge. Oh, my is closer to the lake, eh? It's along the lake. The lake is here. And that will be played in the river, yeah. To my beautiful child. Oh, it's just going for you. But it's on the other side. Yeah. Oh, so here we are. We are going like uh, continuing our journey to Sieko, a place called Sieko. So they're trying to build a road here in the swamp. So they're trying to put all these stones and, uh, and so that they can give it to a lot of cattle. I'll let him go, my co driver here. Yeah. And then I'll walk across. So these cows pass. Welcome to the village. These papyrus. These are papyrus uh, which the Egyptians used a long time ago. So they grew along the Nile. The Nile starts from Lake Victoria and the papyrus also start from here. And they head all the way probably up to Egypt. So the water here is very clear. Yeah, look at that water. Very clear, very clean lake water. Uh, where the river meets the lake. So here there's a river here that goes into the lake. So very clear, very clean water. So I'm heading, my friend has gone all the way to the end. So I just walk along and get over there. So here you see goats, motorcycles, and of course the swamp land over here. Wow, I'm tired. Goats, sheep, cows. Yeah. And of course, fresh water. Fresh lake water. Oh, yeah. Somebody washing clothes. But he's not naked, so he's fine. Bueno. So this Lake Victoria, guys, 
you know, seen Lake Victoria, this is the biggest lake in Africa, which is the source of the Nile that heads towards Egypt. So uh, we're just going to get a little closer to the Lake Victoria and uh, as I bring you the sights and sounds of this beach life here in Senge Beach in Bondo, Africa, Kenya, Africa. Now move. People washing motorcycles too. There's a little oil pollution but not so much. Also that side is Rivayala, the big river that, that actually empties into Lake Victoria. Okay, it's called River Yala. Yala River. Yeah, it's a very big, big river. It's got crocodiles too. So if you're going to bathe in River Yala, uh, be careful because uh, there are crocodiles there too. Crocodiles, hippos, yeah. Ah, Lord Kendo. Hey, Roma, what did you say? You said 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 so you're Europe, Europe, Katuna watch. Abakuna Mawe, that's why it's two of them are you. So here the water is very clear. Ooh, a lot of rocks at the bottom. So we are trying to go with the motorbike across. <laughs> yeah, so boys here yeah, they are bathing and fishing and doing stuff. Going through that water. Yeah, next time I think we'll have to run, just walk. Yeah. Almost uh, hell into that water. So there's the lake, guys. And, uh, we are reached over here. Uh, swampy area where the Ribayala meets Lake Victoria. Stop the camera now and I will continue. Just because balance. 